Hi, I'm Bob D'Amico from Vitrek, and today we're going to be talking about the Vitrek PA900 series power analyzers. We go into some of the specific uh, screens that you will see, um, <clears throat> and I'm basically going to go just go across the screen up top, and once I hit that channel button, I have the ability to look at any one of the individual channels, my virtual power analyzer, which is used for efficiency, and more important, my efficiency calculations. Now, I don't have any data here right now because I don't have enough channels populated with that. I can also customize my screen. So I can take my power data and I can take some of these parameters, even some parameters that do not, that do not show up on this screen, and I can put them up on my screen. We have a, a simple screen editor program uh, that's Excel based and it allows you to come in here, change the fonts, change the parameters you want to look at, and even change the colors of the parameters you're looking at. Our harmonic screen gives you the ability to look at voltage, current, or power harmonics, and um, of any channel, I have the ability to look at either a linear or a logarithmic scale. I can look at up to five different bands of values, which will give you a lot, lot more resolution when you're actually looking at those. Um, <clears throat> and the other thing that's real nice is the unit is actually looking at from the first up to the 500th harmonic. I have a digital readout here, but if, for example, if I wanted to look at my 300th harmonic, I can scroll down by hitting that down arrow, or there's a little yellow indicator here, and if I could grab that indicator, and slide it over, my values are now changing over here. So I can look at any one from the first to the 500th harmonic by simply grabbing my screen and, and moving on over. We also have a vector screen that gives me a representation of the voltage and current. Right now I only have one channel hooked up, so I'm looking at voltage and current in vector format. We have a history screen which actually can be set up for long-term recording, which typically is not found on any other uh, power analyzers out there on the market today. I have a scope mode, which is going to give me, which is going to give me the ability to look at um, my uh, however many traces, up to six traces at a time on the screen. Uh, right now I'm looking at my voltage and current waveforms. We have standby power measurements built in. Uh, there's a, um, a um, standby, power standby standard uh, called EN50564, which now gives me the ability to monitor a piece of equipment when it's not powered up. So my amperage and voltage are going to be very, uh, my voltage will be, um, will be high, but my amperage will be very low milliamp, microamp range, and you can do a standby power measurement. Lastly, I just want to touch real quick on the soft keys down at the bottom. This is my USB key. I have a, um, a USB jump drive installed in here so I can record data, store it on there. I can save configurations to there. I can put just harmonics on there. I can put um, my scope mode, my history data. All of these can be saved on my, on my memory stack. I have a shortcut key down here for my interface screens, which we saw before. Setting up my date and time. And integration, once I want to determine how many kilowatt hours I'm using, I can hit my stop screen, start and stop screen. That will give me the ability to see uh, my total power consumption over a period of time. And lastly, the button down at the bottom here is my hold button. So I can stop my screen from jumping simply by hitting that measurement button. Again, thanks for watching our videos. If you require further information, please contact Biketrek.com or click on the link you see here below.